So I had some good feedback to my, my review of the Weber Q and uh, thought that I would follow up with uh, showing uh, a meal or two that I cook uh, on the grill. Uh, so here we go. So the first thing to do, of course, is to, uh, to preheat the grill. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes and when it's smoking, I find that's uh, when we know that it's good to go. So first thing I'm going to do is spray down the grill and uh, I'm going to turn the heat down to about, to about medium. And what I've got today to start is a uh, turkey breast that I have been, that I let marinate overnight. Uh, fairly simple marinade, uh, some olive oil, lemon juice, uh, some soy sauce, uh, uh, some garlic, and then uh, uh, some herbs de Provence uh, and pepper. So it should give some uh, nice flavor, hopefully, to my turkey breast, which I will. on the grill, nice sear, and as I said, I turned the heat down to, to about medium, so uh, we'll close the grill and uh, start letting that go low and slow. So it's been about 10 minutes, time to see how we're doing, looks like it's coming along. We want to get an internal chap of about 170 or so, uh, 165. There we go, now it's working, so we're on the way. Give it a flip. And yeah, we got some nice sear marks on that side because uh, of the high temp uh, that we started with. So we'll get the grill close back up and let it go another 10 minutes or so. And as we're at about the halfway point, I'm going to add my, my veg. So what I have here is a zucchini that I have sliced lengthwise in half. And what I have here is uh, some olive oil. I'm going to try to balance on there. Uh, that uh, I've added some uh, red chili flakes. Add a little spice. Oh, it's kind of hard to do while holding the camera because I don't have my tripod right now, but I'm going to try this. Put it on there. Just a little closer, that'll be fine. Get that. I'll flip it over to like this start on that side. And then we'll just do some on this side as well. There we go. And we'll check back on this in a little bit. Meanwhile, there is one piece of the meal that's not being done on the Weber. Uh, I have uh, some red Swiss chard. Uh, so I have uh, separated the stems from the leaves that are waiting over here. And uh, the stems uh, I'm going to saute, uh, or I am sauteing, uh, with some diced red onion uh, in olive oil with garlic. And until those are, uh, are tender, then I'll add the uh, leaves, uh, which uh, tend to go, go fairly fast, uh, wilt down uh, towards the end. Maybe five minutes later, so I want to check on my zucchini. pretty firm. Give it a flip though. You want it to be uh, a bit tender. Not quite mushy and falling apart, but you want it close. Okay, sear marks on there, so and uh, should be still looking good. My trusty meat thermometer, which was cheap, but one of the best uh, purchases I made for cooking for sure. 149, 151, 2, 
those close. Let's give it another clip. Nice shear over there as well. So I'll give it another few minutes to get all of it uh, up to about uh, 165. And uh, the zucchini is coming along nicely as well. Meanwhile, I'm going to move this shard to the next step. I'm going to add my leaves. Get them all in there. To the sauteed chunks. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Two tablespoons or so. Just to get some steam going. And put that on and then the steam should cook the leaves and we've got it on fairly low low heat. I'm gonna pull the turkey breast. I'll give it one check, but uh, it occurs to me that I have to rest it and it's gonna cook a little farther uh, as it sits. So I think we're certainly well within the the range where we can pull it and tent it and uh, it'll cook the last few degrees in that thick part as it sits. So, I'm going to pull the turkey breast and we'll leave the zucchini on. It's pretty much done. We're going to turn it down just to keep it hot. And we'll just tent this with some foil, lock in the juices. We're going to check on our chard, see if it's steamed down. And certainly it's well on the way. Let's give this a stir here, and this is really when it tends to cooked down into hardly anything at all. You saw how overflowing it was earlier. I'm going to add a little uh, some, some balsamic vinegar to add a little tang. We'll stir that up. And there you are. Uh, final product is plated. Uh, the marinated Curdled turkey and zucchini done uh, on the Weber and the uh, Swiss chard uh, sauteed, of course, on the stove. Uh, so I'm going to uh, enjoy this, uh, I think, fairly healthy meal. And uh, hopefully uh, this gives you a few ideas of uh, uh, some things that you can make uh, at home with your Weber grill. Enjoy.